Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land. Welcome to another episode of, of uh, Nigel's Jihad Against the Rest of the World. Uh, last episode, we declared war on the Timurits and, and Hedged. We won the war with Hedged. Unfortunately, we're not doing so good against the, against, um, the Timurits. They have rebels, though, so hopefully the Mamluks get off their butt and get from over here to over here. And now we have to go take care of Bengal who is sieging down Oman's capital. Where is this? Oh, Yemen. Let's get a claim back on you. Oh, we get some more claims. Get that claim back. Uh, you want peace? What's this? Let me guess, white peace? No. I want your money. I want your land. So let's go ahead and kick Bengal out. Oh, that's going to help hurt my war enthusiasm, and we need to flip that now. All right, you are going to not get there in time. All right, so attach this unit. All right, oh, you're going all the way. Please get there in time, because I... All right, now... Mamluks no longer give us money. That's fine. Come on. Oh, jeez. And that's the problem is they have troop. They're bringing over a lot of troops. We're not getting there in time. Oh, good. We got there in time. And we are getting our butt stomped. I roll a nine. He rolls a nine. We're going to lose this fight. We have such a crappy general. Uh, their general is a two one one or two one. My general is a one zero. All right. Well, we that's killing our war exhaustion. Aye. All right. Um, all right, so you're at war, low war enthusiasm. Persian separatists. Really? We now have Persian separatists appearing? <sighs> all right, Bengal, will you white peace out? You will white peace out. That will help. Great. All right, so... All right, Bengal's out of it. And now we have to deal with separate. Now... All right, that's actually good for us, but bad for us at the same time. We're losing provinces to uh, separatists, Persian separatists, which means we're going to have to get them back, and we're probably going to have to pay down war exhaustion. We, we can afford that. We'll take the war exhaustion down a little bit. Um, all right. So now we have to go take care of, hopefully... Persian separatists just showed up. That's not good. Because I don't want Persia to get too big. Um, whatever. Alright, but they're beating up the Temtems for me. Which is good. Which is going to make them want to peace out even more. But, in the short term... Why are you... Are you walking back to your lands? <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right. Core done. We'll bring you home. There's no way we can... Yeah, you're not going to vassalize. Um... Although, if we touch up, we might be able to get get there um all right um yeah this XCOM 2 geospace does look really different um we're losing money all right attach this unit let's go and pull together who all here shamar All right, same type of general. Can't really afford to let them lose, let them flip these guys. 
All right, we took a penalty. We're going to lose this fight. Looks like. All right, Timurits want out of this war. Um, and you're going to flip that. I probably should get out of this war sooner than later. Oh, good, we won. Unfortunately, it does not count towards the war score. So let's go and flip this back over to us. Uh, because, well, what we're going to want... Cause you're not going to give me what I want. Oh, you will give me that. Will you give me... That's a lot of money. Um, all right, you're fine there. Let's see. What? <sighs> kind of want... To block, cut Persia in half. Um, but Persia is about ready to break free here. Persia's going to break free, is what's going to happen. Let's go and get a higher war score here. Um, although the Mamluks may take care of all the Persian separatists for the Temurids. Maybe. All right, so let's see. Select army. Let's flip that. Wouldn't it be funny if Persia, if he walks into Persia? All right. Great. All right. So, we're doing better. We have 41%. Unfortunately, Timurits are such a big place. Um, that's because there's Kabul. Where is your capital? I forgot where your capital is. Sure. Mercantilism is always good. Yeah, you're fighting there. Q, truce with QQ. Oh, there we go. There's the C. There we go. Um, you know, why don't we make Balochistan siege that up? Yeah, he's big, but mostly poor. All right. Um... The biggest thing is, though, I want to try to flip these provinces to me as they get sieged up. Um, where are you going? You're going to Shiraz. One of, all right, you're not at war with, with me. All right, so we want to try to flip these a little bit. All right, Balochistan, hopefully you go siege that. Occupied by Persian separatists. All right, so we pretty much, like I said, we truce with Persia. That's fine. Um, I almost want to break the alliance and our royal marriage with them and turn on them right now and then vassalize them. We do have them. Is that a good idea? Especially if we can keep the, t the war with the Tim Tims going a little bit. What's our war enthusiasm? What's the war enthusiasm up? Oh, Mamluks is no. We we won't be able to do this. The Mamluks are getting like I'm I'm done. The Mamluks are are getting to the point where they're they're done. So there's not much more. All right, you'll give me this. That's too much. I can't get much more out of this. Hmm. But that's 62% overextension. Hmm. And I really can't face off against the Persia themselves. Yeah, that, that's also true. Seems legit. Events and province defections make Persia really hard to integrate as a vassal. That's very true also, which is why I'm trying to keep Persia happy. Um, what I think I want though, is to break the connection here is I want, I'll take 76% over extension here to prevent per to kind of break Persia in half. So they have to, yeah, that's, let's see, Bam's not, yeah, 
It's what I think I want here. I don't know if we're going to get it, though. Um, yeah, unfortunately, their Persian separatists are flipping things as we speak. But if we can get their capital to fall, if their capital will fall, all right, so we're flipping, we're sieging. Well, it is cheaper once we do siege up the land. Um, we're losing money. Why? Why are we losing money? We're not. We're making money because we're looting. No, look at Balochistan. They think they're going to get um, get land. Uh, but what do you want? Are you kidding me? No. How about this? Maybe we do get out of this without, before, instead of taking these two, well, let's try it. We possibly can. If we can flip those two, I think we'll be happy with that. Because it gives me a huge lane against Persia to um, deal with. I have no manpower, which is not good. I can tech up, but that hurts my diplomat. All right. Um, 48. Each province is 1%. All right. Well, maybe we can flip all these Persian separatists and keep them from having flipping over right away. All right. We're at low war enthusiasm. That's not good. All right, so you, we should be getting what we want soon. Maybe we, we bring it right to the edge of overextension. And I don't feel... No, we're not getting it. I think it's going to be close enough to get this. Oh, we're, we're slowly eking it out. Um, well, we're going to lose that fight. All right, Balochistan, are you... We need their capital down. We need their capital down. And we just lost... They lost that, that fight right there. We are very close to getting the war... What, what will make me happy? For this. Um... Wow, that, losing that fight cost us this province. Because we could get that province, they lost the fight, and we no longer could. All right, so Persian separatists actually were taken care of. Unfortunately, they didn't count towards our war goal. Joys. So we got them at 50%. Um, although, Balochistan and the Mamluks kind of want out of this war. It's one of those things where we're, we're teetering so close. I think if we get a couple, couple of these provinces over here flipped to us, we'll be okay. And right, winning that battle helped. All right. Will you please, somebody, go see these are freaking capital. Okay? And this will break the Timurids. The Timurids are done after this. Um... Yeah, this region can get very much, very quite unstable, is true. Alright, so, but for the Jihad achievement, I do need to probably chew all this up, because it's cheap land, too. But, alright, so you'll get that. Do we get greedy? Uh, we don't have a lot, well, um... Because that brings us really close to the brink, and we're going to be chewing that. That's going to give us a lot of rebel coverage. So let's go ahead and leave that alone. What about that? 74. Or we can just be happy with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. That kind of brings us to... That brings us actually ahead of schedule. Will we get any, Can we get any money off of you? Not really. Um... If I don't take that, well, war reps doesn't really matter because you're going to be broke. You're going to fall apart. 
I'd rather take your land. Um. Almost, do we, no, we don't make them a null treaties. Release nations, we can make them release Afghanistan. If we took nothing. Um. Wow, look, yeah, all these Persia cores. Um, revoke cores, no. Um. 76 over, over extension, that gives me quite the line to work with. Yeah, we'll take that. We're good. All right. Yeah, over extension is very high. We picked up some... Ex Ooh. Those are a little bit on the expensive side. All right. Well, let's make core... <laughs> Those two core? Hello. And I guess we're going to, oh, you know what? No. Let's core up the cheap. We'll core up these first. And we'll reduce war exhaustion here. Um, we're losing money. We have a lot of land here. Um, we're ma no, we're making money because we now own the entire Basra trade node. And yeah, uh, forgot to raise autonomy, subsidies. All right, now we're losing money. All right, raise autonomy here. Let's re get autonomy up here on all these provinces we just took. Now we have to watch our rebels. We may end up paying that down a little bit while we're coring. Um, we're not going to... You know what? We'll take the marriage from Balochistan. Uh, Timurits, you want access? Why? No, you're good. Persia, I, I, that will help me against Persia. Uh, now, um, I don't need this. I don't need this fort here. I don't. Because this fort protects all of this land right here. This fort protects... We have overlapping forts. Not good. So let's go ahead and destroy this fort. Um, I'm going to... Turn off forts here. Let's try to save a little bit of money. I'll re... I'll... Our... Al Arbia, Ar I, I can't pronounce your name. I do appreciate the follow. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Smokey, you're back. Hello. All right, anyways. Um, let's go ahead and drop fleet maintenance down. Let's go ahead and drop army maintenance down. And watch our rebels. Iraqi separatists are coming back. Al Ar... Al Arabia, Al Arabi, I I apologize. I have a lot of hard time, hard time pronouncing words unless I've heard them a couple of times to sound them out, and I apologize about that. I am horrible with names, as the rest of the chat will, Twitch chat will talk to you about, tell you about. All right, so war source exhaustion is going to get some. Yeah, we're going to get some rebels. I'm pr Iraqi separatist probably. We may spend a couple of rounds. We may pay these down a little bit like that. Um, Rebel Uprising. Yeah, I know. Or I can create, make an Iraqi vassal. Which might be a good idea if we weren't over the Diplo limit. Um, well... Let's see, not, let's see, Mamluks, let's put this over here. Mamluks kind of need a top off, huh? Border friction. As much as the mercantilism, mercan uh, mercan um, is, is nice, keeping not, keeping the Mamluks kind of happy is probably better. 
All right, we can make this core, and that will help with the rebels. All right. Um, yeah, if I, I want Persia as a vassal, but I also have Shamar and Oman right now, and I can't fight Persia. Um, but there's no way we're going getting them as a vassal unless we go, unless we go attacking them. Um, I want, we'll have to dissolve, break the alliance with them. Persia got, is it, Persia's growing. They, they pulled this guy in, um, fabricated claim. All right. I, th I don't think we're going to be able to vassalize Persia bronze cannons because I don't, we did not take care of these separatists quick enough. All right, so it's going to take a little bit to make core here. Oh, it went down. All right, now we can Diplotech up. We can now make marketplaces, which will be very helpful to us. Um, a little bit behind. Eh. We're focused... Let's see. We're focused. Uh, I currently do not have a national focus set. What? Yeah, because I need. I'm probably going to go quantity or quality ideas for the bigger manpower pool. But, anyways, I have free diplomats. Let's go ahead and get a claim going here. Um, all right, so if I if I declare war, whoa, oh, okay, okay. For a second there, I thought it was like anyway, I thought that was something else. All right. Um, now, QQ, we kind of need our manpower to recover a little bit, but it's, let's see, to bear stand. We'll jump in, and I'll have to fight them. So you know what? Sure. Um, so let's go ahead and get a claim on Tabaristan here. Uh, get some claim, get claims going here, because we'll end up having to fight. When we go for QQ again, we'll end up having to fight Tabaristan anyway. So, sure, yeah, you know what, keep, keep that marriage going, uh-oh, border friction here, um, all right, Syria, hi, um, I don't think, like I said, I don't know if we're going to be able to get Persia as a vassal. Persia as a vassal is a little bit gnarly. I want to eat, probably, I want to try to eat more of the Tim Tim. So I actually want to get bigger. So when Persia flips, we'll be good. Um, I probably want to try to... All right, so we are pushing here to here. Or we're pushing here. Now we're pushing that to Basra. Which we now own the entire Bo uh We own most... Yeah, we own the Basra trade node, at least. For the most part. Laura stands not and Alright, so... That's fine. Um... How to improve... Our funding here. We, I guess we have 45% of the trade there. We have 5% here. Um, yeah. Because we need to own up this piece of land. Hmm. I need a third merchant. Anyway. Making money. Manpower is recovering. Um, QQ, what is your... 
Let's see, I have no Persia will go to war with you, uh, with me here. Um, you're at war with these guys. Actually, that may be a good time to jump in because Persia will jump in and now after these claims come in. We'll go and drop another claim on QQ because we don't have any claims on you right now, do we? No. Um, Persia, you have, yeah, all these claims. It's a shame you're not my vassal. All right, so that's fine. We have a claim against QQ. All right, great. We've cored that. Um, fabricated claim. Let's see. This looks like a good one. It's fairly deep in there. And when it comes to fort time, I can just turn this fort on and this fort, and we should be good to go. Uh, Iraqi Separatists, huh? I know I'll get yelled at for this, but I don't want to deal with the rebels right now. So we're going to punch them down a little bit. Um... All right, we'll core this. Really wish I could have waited to release Persia, then release Persia as a vassal here, but that's not going to happen. Now, what I might end up doing, what I might want to do is just grab all of Persia. Um, grab all of Persia. I can create Iraq, not a really good idea. I may just want to declare on Persia, march on them, grab them all, and then release them as a vassal. Because we now, we own core Persian provinces. Actually, those are not even Persian provinces. We have one core Persian province right there. Two, three, yeah, we have three core Persian provinces. Is that the correct answer of what we want to do? Is turn on Persia here? I mean, we're kind of set up for that. We've got a claim on Persia. What I might want is to use Persia against QQ first. And then we we grab Q then we grab QQ. Um let's see. There is a way, let's see, where is it? Um, let's see, we're over, oh crap. How do you see how many provinces you have? I, I saw that once. Um, one of these map modes. Hey Twitch chat, which one, where is it to check your provinces? I forget. All right. Um, Economy tab. Oh, right here. 33. Okay. So we got a lot. We got, we got a lot ways to go. We're a little behind schedule, unfortunately. But we're making money, which is good. Um, now, Persia does not have... Persia has two crappy allies... But I'm thinking I'm going to want, per well, we do need to control Persia soon, because every time we attack the Timurids, they freak out, and Persian Separatists sh show up. And I want Persia under my control. But to do so, I'm going to need to annex Shamar and Oman um, to do so. So, and you're a body. All right, so you're Shamar. Shamar's good. You know what? When we get a chance, let's top Shamar off, and then we'll just annex them. Have you cored your land? Let's see, I believe it's Y. You're almost done. No, wait, that's not. Uh, Shamar, have you... Huh. Uh... Looks like you have. Good job. 
Good job, Shamar. All right. So, anyways, those watching on YouTube, thank you for joining us. This last episode, we we had a jihad against the Temerates. We picked up some land. We're thinking about reestablishing a jihad against QQ, and maybe grabbing grab um, Persia at, attacking Persia and vassal and taking their land, then immediately turning around and releasing them as a vassal, so that when the Tim Tims flip uh, freak out. Again, we will get their land. Um, let's go ahead and improve relationships here. Our particular current our current mission is to incorporate Oman. We're not doing that for a while, so we're going to grab that. Anyways, those watching on YouTube, thank you for joining us. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Anyways, remember, I am the Seraph, and you can watch, watch this recorded live on Twitch. Have a good day.